No. Please start. Yeah. Later on, going somewhere top secret. There's only one in the whole world. Hey guys, I'm Luke from That Fan Show. I've personally always wondered what are the milestones in the Mercedes-Benz van's history, and today I am in the right place to find that out. As you can see above, Mercedes-Benz stars. I've also been given a blindfold, apparently later on going somewhere top secret, which I'm hugely excited about. But right now I need to head inside and find myself a Mercedes-Benz expert. Hi, Dietmar. Hello, Luke. Hi. Nice to meet you. So I'm here today to learn about the history of Mercedes-Benz vans. I believe it's the right place. Maybe you can show me around a bit. It's absolutely the right place, and we have some real treasures here. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me pick some of the real treasures. So Please. let's start with the first Mercedes-Benz transporter. Yep. We go back to 1955. Mm -hmm. It's L319. Let's go back, there was a time before the Second World War, we offered something like transporters. We didn't name them transporters. They look rather like small trucks. After the Second World War, we felt there is a demand for transporters with a payload of one to two tons. We also uh, thought about, let's try a new style. It's this rounded form, which is so typical 1950s. Now the 1950s yeah, love yeah. the round forms. Yeah, it is very curvy. Absolutely. Yeah. What I really like of the 1950s, the small lights. Yeah, uh, very Because nice. it really shows the safety it was not that much <laughs> no. of a topic in those days. So, and it's a lot of place. It's a lot of place. It's uh, more than eight cubic meters. Yeah. It was used in a lot of different variations. I have something special for you. Normally, okay. nobody's allowed to sit inside, but I make an exception for you. Yes. Is it okay? I'm do you in. want to sit inside? I would love to sit to be inside. The driver. Let's do okay. it. Come in. in. It's quite a height, actually. Yeah. 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 Well, first thing I've noticed is that springy, yeah. <laughs> springy chair, which is actually very comfortable. Did you see this part between us? I've noticed it. Is it by any chance the engine or yeah. part, part of the engine? Absolutely. So it's the first time we have a cab over engine design, okay. which makes the whole vehicle shorter. And um, yeah, I, I heard it gets quite hot sometimes. That was it's going to be my next question because obviously there's no air conditioning in here. Just uh, You can open the window. You can, exactly, you can <laughs> open the windows, which is great for the summer. The engine, I guess, is great for the winter, keeping you warm in here. So, but I said, this is one of our treasures, but I have something unique for you. Something which is really absolutely special and there's only one in the whole world. You prepared for this? I'm very ready to see it. Okay, then let's go. It's the Daimler Motorized Business Vehicle and it's the oldest surviving transporter in the whole world. It's from 1899. Wow. It's not the very first one, but okay. the oldest surviving. Surviving. I want to show you three special things here. And first of all, it's wooden spokes combined yeah. with an iron wheel, which is typical for heavy loads. In those days, it's 500 kilograms. Okay. Today, we won't regard it as, as heavy, but in those days it was. So not the most comfortable ride, I'm assuming. Absolutely not. Um, the brake, if you have a look here, mm -hmm. it's just a small leather strip and only okay. in the rear gear. There, wow, that's okay. your brake. Yeah. What more do you need? Dangerous, yeah. I think. <laughs> so, but most sophisticated, the yeah. oldest gear lock I know. Okay. Before you put the gear in, you open this yeah. and then you can close the Like a the safety gear. lock, essentially. A safety lock, yeah. absolutely. 1899. Wow, Very I mean, early. super impressive for the age when you, when you think about it. Yeah, and a lot of people walk by every day. Yeah, of course. And they think, okay, it looks nice, but yeah. it really has a high historical value. Yeah. And so it's, it's one of my, my favorites in this house. The last transport I'd like to show you in our house. Great. T1 is the official name, okay. but in Germany we have a nickname. We call it Düsseldorfer Transporter because it was made in the factory in Düsseldorf. Okay. And it was produced for about 30 years, so that's the typical Mercedes-Benz transport of my childhood. In this case, it's THW, mm -hmm. THW in German, means Technisches Hilfswerk. And in German we call it Disaster Relief. And you told me that's 
very typical German. It is, to, yeah, it's just yeah. directly translated. You say it as it is, it's relieving disaster. What's so special about this, it has a very big cabin, a so-called double cabin. And the double cabin gives place for, I think, at least seven people. I hope you like this transporter too. Very much, with the previous one being my favorite, still so beautiful. But thank you so much for showing me around and giving me the history rundown on Mercedes-Benz vans. However, right now I need to put this blindfold on, finally, because we're going somewhere very top secret. 